hello 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 and welcome back to the channel my name is Jonna I have just found out what how do I put it it's almost like you know that miracle that you want to buy in the bottle how to feel and look younger it's almost taken me 50 years to figure it out believe me I have a lot of glitter in this hair and I have a lot of character lines in this <laughs> in this face but I wanted to share with you some of the things that I have learned um, in the last 49 years. It just seems like, how do I put it? I feel better today than I did 20 years ago. And there are a lot of factors involved that, why I didn't feel that well about myself. Um, and I'm gonna share with you some things that I learned along the way. Um, believe me, I debated on coloring this hair many of times and just recently I debated on it and it came down to it where I'm okay the way, how do I put it? I'm okay for who I am. I thought, you know, if I colored my hair, maybe I'll look younger. No, that's not gonna work. And the reason why is, is I'm gonna to have to upkeep it. I'm gonna to have to touch up the, the roots and it's gonna be putting more chemicals in my hair. And um, I just didn't wanna have that battle and that cost, really. I'd rather spend that money on something else, maybe, you know, a, a nice time with Ray or, or photography or, you know, something for the home. That's where I would rather put the money, if that makes sense. Um, now, I have written a, t a list of 10 things that I have done that it has helped me to feel better as an individual, inside and out, to be honest. Badness and Ava. I have a furry dozen. If you've not watched my channel, Ray and I have rescued some furry babies. We have eight dogs. Yes, you heard me right eight dogs and we have four cats. Nope, you didn't mishear that one. Yep, we have four cats. And I'm debating on getting a bird, maybe, but that, that, that wouldn't be the furry dozen anymore. But anyway, um, they have more or less, they came into our lives majority of, well, yeah, I would say we, we had the two when we moved here in Texas and we saved the remaining of them. We rescued them and, it, and they brought a lot of, they br are bringing a lot of happiness in our lives, to be honest. Um, I've done a lot of thinking about this list. I'm going to go back to the, the list and I'm going to be really raw, really honest with you. And, um, I, I would love your feedback. I would love your comments for the fact that there's going to be some topics that might not be comfortable with some, if that makes sense, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And in today's world, um, I'm real. And um, i rather you know who I am as an individual and knowing that I would not ever want to steer you down the wrong path, if that makes sense. I had made a list of 10 things, 10 things. And these 10 things are things that I've had to adapt into my everyday life. And um, it's been difficult, to be honest with you. And um, it's not happened overnight. It's taken some time. And that's the thing about it. It is going to take time. It's a day by day process and that's okay. That's all right. So number one that I have on my list, and this is, to be honest with you, it's more or less, it's, it's not an order kind of situation. Like number one's number one or 10 is number one. It's, I'm gonna be honest with you, number 10 is the number one thing but everything going up to it is not an actual in the order of the importance of it. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Um, number one that I have written down is manage your health care and find out what prescriptions are harming you. And you're going to say, well, my doctor prescribed me these things, so they should be okay. And I really want you to hear what I'm stating. You need to know what you're putting inside your body and for what reasons 
and, and what those medications could be affecting different organs in you. There was, a, in 2017, I was taking two prescriptions from one doctor that was destroying my liver. And it was not helping to control my weight because I was gaining weight rapidly, very, very fast, which inc which increased my blood pressure, which increase, increased my cholesterol, which increased my, my weight gain, my BMI, so many, and the pain, the pain level was outrageous. So I had to take the, the, the sit down and, 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 and figure out with my provider, you have to have communication with your provider and saying, why am I on these? Are these okay with these certain things? I mean, are you okay taking this? If you're diabetic, that kind of thing. Are they interacting well or are they fighting against each other? If that makes sense. So I really, really stress that in the year 2019 is to manage your health care. Do not be afraid to speak up. I am being sincere. Do not be afraid and don't be afraid to ask questions because the more you know and you empower yourself, you are more in control and you have the right to say no or yes. And it's your body. It is you that this is your gift and you have to take care of this gift. So number two has been one that I have not done for many, many years. And I can tell in my skin today, you have to protect your skin. Um, I was a avid, I mean, no, I was a, how can I put it? I love to, to tan. I love to go into the tanning beds. I love feeling that. And it came down to a point where I knew it was wrong for me kind of situation and um, even sun tanning out here um, I noticed that I wasn't wearing the right sunscreen kind of situation I mean with the location that I'm in in El Paso we have at least 360 days out of the year of sun and maybe five of cloudy and you have to to be careful because sun can damage your skin. I do have some sunspots on my face and I do can tell that of the years of tanning that I've done where it has damaged me. So all I can do today that I've been learning in 2017, 2018, I say middle of 2018 up to today is you have to Take care of yourself. I am being sincere. I really am because in t it, 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 sun can age you. It can age you tremendously. And I always thought I looked younger and, and thinner when I was tan. That's what I thought. And it was my head because I was so depressed and I just wanted to 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 be loved and to be liked and and I just you know having the the, the tan and being thin and having the long nails all those things were in you know incorporated and actuality I was harming myself and and aging myself even faster number Before I go to number three, one thing I do want to stress to you about the skin. Um, in today's society, there are so many things on the market that you can buy, creams or Botox, or you can get shots from your provider, your doctor, or you can, you know, get certain things that can help you, you know, tick, you can tuck and stuff like that. And... I was getting a, a double chin and it's like, you know, I'm, yes, I'm almost 50. Yes. And I'm okay with that. But I was sort of like, oh, I'm getting a double chin <laughs> kind of situation. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come here. So I really want you to think about who are you, what, why are you getting the Botox? Why are you getting these fillers why and do not get me wrong do not get me wrong some people enjoy that and that is them but for me I can't do that 
And the reason is I don't want, this is my personal opinion, is I don't want to put, I don't know, I, bad stuff into underneath my skin. If I've already tanned all these years, I can only imagine putting something in my skin as Botox or stuff like that. And if you're if you are really big on, you know, different makeup and skin creams and and um I don't know what the pills, ask the, the the skin pills, you know, I just regulated by the FDA kind of situation be careful where you buy it be careful what's in it sometimes they don't put all the ingredients in it and that's why I'm so so cautious so cautious and did you know if you don't wash your makeup off every night it can age your your skin faster it's 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 horrendous what it can do to your skin your face. Also, I have a good hint. This is a good one. Did you know it helps with the hair too? Because you know, the older it gets, it gets finer for all of us, both male and female. If you put a satin or a silk pillowcase and you sleep on that, it helps with your skin and with your wrinkles. And it also good for your hair. It doesn't wake up tangled. Um, so I do have, I don't have satin sheets or silk sheets. I have flannel on because even though I'm in a Paso, I'm still cold. Um, I have my silk satin pillowcase and I'm, I'm very faithful to that. And that, I could tell the difference. I can tell I don't get those deep, um, lines, character lines, if that makes sense. Oh, believe me, I have them. I do have them. Um, number three, this is a very powerful one for me because this has changed my life drastically in many, many different ways and many levels. Eating healthy. It is so difficult. Believe me, I know. Um, it is a life journey, a life change. I don't like the word diet. Um, there are certain things that I have removed out of my diet. Some of my videos have, I've stated that I don't have any red meat at all, no red meat. And that's been very, very difficult for me, but I'm learning not to I'm learning to substitute with other things where I'm not missing those dishes. Like for example, lasagna or, or I am missing a um, spaghetti with meat sauce. I love Italian food. Um, I substitute it with something different. And so I'm not, I'm not missing it. I used to really miss a good steak, a prime rib with a baked potato with the side of, you know, the, the, the horseradish. Oh my goodness. Or you could have, you know, I don't even have steak anymore. You know, the only really meat I or I eat is going to be chicken, poultry situation. Um, I haven't had any pork. Um, yeah, so when I say eat healthy, I eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits. And I eat a lot of nuts guacamole, hummus. Um, I have maybe one soda a month situation. Um, I, that's been tough because I love my diet Pepsi or my diet Coke with lime. Love it. I don't think they make that anymore. If that says anything to you. Um, I, Going through that journey and changing and learning new ways to eat has been very, very difficult. Okay. But now it's such, it's more easier for me to go shopping, if that makes sense. Processed food. I really want you to think about this. Processed food is so, so not good. And I've had to learn. I still eat processed food processed food. Do not get me wrong. Like I have a vegetable lasagna frozen one in my freezer right now. I know that's processed. 
but I don't eat processed food like I did I used to do I wish I knew these skills today but my children are very very healthy eaters thank goodness they're very very oh they're smart kids but I wish I was able to teach them these skills if that makes sense um, One thing that I have to, I had to learn when I had developed fatty liver disease, which was a big fear of mine, um, meaning having fatty liver was a fear of mine. Um, and then I was afraid I was going to get diabetes because that's in the family. I was afraid I was going to have heart um, problems because that's in the family and I, my cholesterol was high my blood pressure I mean I just I just foresaw something happening to me because you know knowing what happened to my father and to other um, relatives with the family history and I want you to take that into consideration is what are you fighting against are you fighting against the heart problems, the diabetes, the 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 you know cholesterol within the family? What can you do to slow that down a little bit, if that makes sense? Which I am doing. I don't have diabetes today, knock on wood. Thank you, Lord. I don't have cholesterol. Thank you. I don't have high blood pressure. I'm on high blood pressure medicine. And the reasoning behind that is because of the pain that I'm in every single day. It's to help me monitor. And, and it's just very, very stressful. That's why that is being taken, if that makes sense. Hopefully, eventually, they'll take me off the blood pressure medicine, if that makes sense. So, one thing, too. And this is a tough one. Because I used to do it myself for many 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 years smoking I'm not here to preach to you I'm not here to tell you what you need to do but I know if I had continued smoking I would have been in better worse shape than I am today if I had not stopped smoking years before I had developed fatty liver disease I would not be able to be who I am today Um, I had stopped quit. Sm I had stopped smoking in the year of 20, 2009. So it's been ten years without a cigarette. I have believe me. There don't. No one can tell me. Oh, I don't get cravings. Don't even. Don't even go there with me, because I know there are times in my in in my battles and my problems or situations I've been in through. It's like. Oh my god, if I just had a cigarette, but honestly that cigarette ups that that blood flow which is not good cuz you're bringing in more carbon monoxide and from the cigarette. And so you have to make a some conscious choice, a decision. I just I know if I had continued smoking, I would have the the lines here, the lines here. The lines more in through here and my skin would not be the way it is today my hair would not be the way it is today to be honest with you so I'm very very grateful that I made a some conscious decision to say you know what I can't do this I don't want to die at age 61 as my father had done I don't want to develop diabetes at 40 I didn't want to have heart problems. I don't want that. I want to do what I can do to make me feel younger and to look younger. And that's not out of vain. That This is not a vain situation. If you don't take care of yourself, how are you, how, how are you going to be able to make a difference out there and within? The next one is a really really touchy one with me and I'm gonna be this is very raw and very real is cutting back on your alcohol I know um, I know when I was going through my divorce and I was going through a really really traumatic time in my life I was drinking a lot of wine a lot of wine and um, that's not good 
And with alcoholism being in my family, my father's side, that's another battle, you know. I feel in my heart, and people can de be debatable, and that's okay. You can inherit those genes, and it's just, I never wanted to become, be controlled by something. Um, you have to monitor your alcohol. I love a really, really good glass of red, a dry red wine, a good Shiraz, a good Malbec, um, a good Rosé, you know, um, a Chardonnay. Um, it's, but today I maybe have a, I had a glass the other day. What? And I couldn't finish it. I couldn't finish it. And I just don't know if because my body is just like, Jay, it's just, you, I don't, I don't, I don't have the taste buds for it anymore. Now, that also helped me bringing down my fatty liver numbers to be honest that mean taking that out of my diet um when i was when i was diagnosed i'm going to be really honest is that um it's okay ava baby girl it's okay it's all right um I had to make a decision, you know, do I want to keep my one liver that I have or do I want to just soak and, and hide my pain, my pain internally, physically, mentally, some con, you know, everything I was fighting and I had to make that decision. And it's been the best decision I made. I'm not, I, I do not get me wrong. Some people just can't have alcohol for many, many reasons. I just, I monitor what I drink, if that makes sense. And since I've cut back on my alcohol, I can tell within... Hold on. Oh, Ava's upset. She's my bug. I named her after, after Ava Gardner, the old movie star. And then Ginger's Ginger Rogers. So, but Ray named her after his his mom had a dog. But anyway, um, so the whole smoking, the alcohol, the eating, eating healthy, that has helped me tremendously, tremendously. I can tell it in my skin. I can tell in um, in my hair. In um, losing weight is number four. Oh my goodness sakes. Oh my goodness sakes. You know how hard it is to lose weight? Do you know how hard it is to lose weight when you are limited of what you can do as exercising? You know how hard it is to, to make... Uh, it's tough. But when you watch what you're eating and if you're limited in certain exercises, those exercises are going to help lose that weight. Believe me, I am, there are certain things that I cannot do. I cannot do, I cannot ride a bike. That was my, that is my path. Now let me correct that. A bicycle, I can sit down and do the exercise bike as in the sitting position, but I, riding my, my um, Columbia out there, it has to be sold. And, and that's okay because I can do other exercises that'll help me get tone, lose weight. I had said a, a, a journey of losing weight. Um, it was, I was wanting to lose from 180, get down to 140. Then my doctor's talking to me. No, we do not want you to get down to 140. We want you maybe get down to 150, to be honest with you. We don't want seeing you get down, and I'm happy they said that, because I didn't lose any weight in December. I was so frustrated, but my doctor said, 
there's gonna be a time where you have a plateau and don't get discouraged is that your body's adjusting and I've lost a couple more pounds so I'm about five pounds from my goal for the month so I've lost five pounds since December if that makes sense um, my goal is between 150 and 155 and my cutoff goal at that time that I had written this down that I have in my book is um, March 20th when Ray gets back but you know what I had to come to realize is that yes I'm going to keep that do not get me wrong but if I don't make that goal just in case I still have the goal of 2019 to maintain it to that level of 155 to 150. Does that make sense? So I'm continuing to trying to bring down my weight to lower my BMI, which we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, because that helps lower our cholesterol, that helps us lower our blood pressure, and it brings down our A1C for our diabetes. It is so hard when there's so many wonderful donuts out there and when you have so many delicious Doritos or have you walked by the bakery? I just have to like to go around it. When you start an exercise program, talk to your provider and because and this is the key thing is I was so gun whole about doing yoga. I was so excited. I, you know, I got everything and I did it one day and I love the instructor. I love her to death. She's fantastic. I found her on YouTube and if I wasn't in the situation I was in, I'd be continuing doing it. And I went to my physical therapy and talked to my provider, my doctor, and I said, I need to talk to you. There's two things I want to cover with you. And and he goes, well, what are you doing? And I said, I'm doing yoga. And he goes, are you doing yoga for the injury with the situation you're in? And I thought, oh, no. And he goes, yes, Miss Hernandez. You don't want to re-injure it and you don't want to make it worse. So he suggested Pilates for me for an injured back situation that works on the core and works on a certain working with certain tools. I mean, what I mean by tools is that I got an exercise ball and I got a, a tube too. And um, hopefully there'll be videos here soon to show you some things that I do. Maybe you guys can see it's like, oh yeah, that's what she's doing. And it's really, I could tell after the first day, my stomach muscles, believe it or not, they were hurting because I've not used those muscles, those core muscles for years. So that's Ava snoring, so I apologize. No, she's good, she's good. So when you start an exercise program, I need you when you talk to your provider about your medication, and you talk to them about your, your, your eating and, 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 and the weight loss. Talk about exercises. What are your limitations? What does he suggest? Give him ideas. Do your own research. What was so fun for you? Walking. Do you want to do walking? Oh, yes. I can see so many times starting in January. I'm going to walk Monday, Monday through Friday. And I'm going to do it after work or I'm going to do it before work. And within, within the middle of February, they're burnt out. They're exhausted. And the doctor visit again. Well, how's it going? Oh, it's going not. So what I'm asking you to do for yourself, start slow. But I cannot, I have to stress to you, you have to do some form of exercise because that exercise is a release. Believe me, if, you, if you're wanting to stop smoking, replace, because I, when I used to smoke, I used to, I, I was the the type of person I the type of smoker I was is I would finish I would finish a task and then I rewarded myself. If I finished raking a bit a big bunch of leaves, that was great exercise. I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. Really, Jay? Were you really thinking logically? No, I wasn't. But that's me.
The next thing that I can only really, really stress with you, all of you, is organize your area, organize your room, organize your workspace, organize your, your, where you get up in the morning, where you get ready in the morning. Because if it's, cha if it's messy, it's chaos. And chaos feeds off negative. And negative is like going to just get you. So if you're able to organize things and clean things up, you feel lighter and you feel better. Now, one thing that I did do at the end of December, November time, it was November in fact, I had donated eight huge 40 gallon bags of clothes. And there are reasons why of that. One of them was I was determined to lose this weight. This is me subconsciously. I am not going to say, I have a pair of size 16 jeans in there that I can go back if I'm not being good. And I'm okay with that. No. No. I'm okay to keep that extra large skirt or 2X large skirt because if I feel bloated, I can go to that. No. I gave away so many beautiful outfits. But I donated it. And that's okay because I, I have, uh, what I had done is that I had to take ownership of what goals I was preparing myself for 2019. Now at the same time, I had started from one room to the next room, to the next room, to the next room. Every room in this house, exception of Ray's space, I have detailed and organized. I got rid of things that I had for years. And believe me, that was tough. I just took out the trash can that I had since 2010. And the reason why is it was falling apart. It was just, it was used. And Ray goes, well, yeah, get a new one. <laughs> you know, he didn't know where it came from. And it's like, I just want to make sure, you know, because communication's key, you know. And um, so I got, I've never, I've always wanted a nice stainless steel trash can. And he said go get what you want and so I got what we needed there's a difference between need and want and I really thought we'd get a smaller size he goes no we need a larger size because watching the budget and he goes no get the bigger size so it is so nice even in the kitchen organizing the kitchen getting rid of things that we don't need it's just he and I but don't get me wrong I did hold on to things Meaning if we have a function, if the kids come visit, if we have family come and visit, that we have the platters, we have those certain things. But it's not chaos. I have gotten bins for the pantry and they're all labeled. And it's so refreshing, so light, the laundry room is organized. The bathroom is organized. And it's just like a breath of fresh air. I like getting up in the morning and making my bed, knowing I'm walking and looking at my bed, and it's like I can go into my my dressing area, into the into the the bathroom area, and it's clean and it's organized. It, I mean, I used to get ready in this room, and I really sat here one day when Ray was gone, and I'm thinking, why am I? Because I wasn't organized. I should be in there with him. We are together. We are a team. So I decided. I'm going to make it work because I want to be with him. I want to share that time with him. Quality time is very, very important to me. Know your love languages. Quality time is very, very important to me. So spending time with him, you know, that is what I needed to do. I needed to make space for the each of us, but made a balance situation. So minimize your home. 
I used to be the type of person, to be honest with you, where I would go to the thrift shop and just buy stuff that I did not need. And what it was, to be honest with you, it was therapy for me because of how depressed I was and I was just putting things in the house that we did not need. And I can say to you today, I cannot do that today for the fact that I am okay. I don't need to, to cover myself up and shop. The only time I do shopping is to replace something that is not working anymore or that we need it, if that makes sense. It's hard for me to go to a thrift shop today sometimes because it's like, I don't need it. I could have went out for doing photography, if that makes sense. But don't get me wrong. You can find some amazing treasures, and I have. I have found some amazing things in this past three months, but I didn't go hoarding. It's maybe one this time, maybe two this time, maybe one. It's not spending tons and tons of money. That was number six, to donate and to minimize your space in your home situation. Number seven, learn something new and face your fears. That is a big one for me, big one. And I, 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 I'm gonna be really, really honest. I, there were times in my life where I could have played gin rummy with my W-2s because I went from job to job. And the reason why is, is I was getting so stagnant or I wasn't, I wasn't held happy as an individual, first of all. And secondly, it's like, why is she talking about Follow me, believe me, trust me. I wasn't happy as an individual. So when I wasn't happy, I went to job to job, one reason to hide what was happening on outside the situation of my job. And secondly is when I reached a, my goal, I got bored. I just got bored. Don't you ever realize when you're learning something or when you're reading something, you're gaining more blood cells or brain cells, I should say? It's healthy for you. Now facing your fear, believe me, I have anxiety. I know. I know my children, so my, my daughter has anxiety. And I hope, I, I should probably got it for me. And my anxiety is Sometimes going in public, facing the public, making people happy, meeting deadlines, keeping promises. Um, um, failure, acceptance. Um, yeah. And one of my big anxieties is fear of rejection. And in 2019, I had put out, told myself, you're going to face your fears, young lady. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm almost 50 and, oh my goodness sakes, I love you. You wanna come up? Hold on. Hold on, guys. You wanna come up? Come on. So the only thing that I, the, the only thing I can stress to you is write down your fears. What, what are your fears? And what I mean by that, like my fear was being rejected and I don't want to find out the answer. I don't want to know what they think. I don't want to, to, to take that chance. But if I didn't take that chance, I would not have known the answer. If I didn't take that chance to question my doctor, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I don't have fatty liver disease anymore. I'm 10, 15 pounds away from my, my I'm no, 12 pounds away from my goal. I'm only 12 pounds away from my reaching my goal for my weight loss. That's a lot of weight, but it's only 12 pounds. I have lost 25, 20 pounds. Okay. So 
facing your fears and anxiety, that can make someone very, very ill. Believe me, there are times where I know and that can affect you, how you look, how you come across, how you, you know, um, your appearance. I said look, I apologize. Um, how you carry yourself and how your character is, if that makes sense. When I say face your fears, I do not want you to go gun hole. Take baby steps. I took a huge baby step. I contacted an individual who was um, Zane, and um, I had asked, come here, baby. Come here. Come on. Come on. Hold on. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh. So... I had I had asked him if I would be able to you if I was able to put his channel on my channel as a suggestion for people to go to because he's so brilliant and he's such a humble and humble individual and he's doing so good and I'm so proud of him and he said yes and I'm happy I did that and the reason why I'm happy to do that is we're going to go on number Eight. Remove toxic people out of your life, even if it's family. And why would she say that? What she just said. But I want you to put in positive people with good character, with good personality, who are very humbled, who wants good for others into your life. Don't feed on negative. I can't, do not get me wrong, I know what's going on in the world, I do watch the news, but I can't, sometimes I just can't put myself to sit and hear and look at Facebook and see what's being said. Remove toxic behaviors out of your life. Believe me, it is the most toughest thing. And you do, you deserve to be respected you deserve to be looked in the eye. You deserve for someone to be honest with you. You deserve to be loved. Number eight is the is one of the one of the importance because there are so many people in the world would love to bring down you. They'd love to bring you down. I know so, believe me, because I've had people in my life who've done the same. And I've had to remove them out of my life. And believe me, there have been nights and days that I've cried and turmoil. Am I making the right decision? But the thing is, I am lighter today. I'm healthier today. And I'm happier today. And I'm able to pay it forward. Surround yourself around people who are giving, who will fill your cup, who gives you compliments, who thinks that you are one in a million. Believe me, it, it, it's it, it's a miracle. It's the people that I surround myself with on social media and in, in, in everyday life are people that I want in my life that I'm able to feel good, that I'm able to be honest with, that I'm able to know if I'm able to have a conversation with them, they're going to be honest with me. So don't feel guilty removing toxic people out of your life. It is the best thing you can do, believe me. Number nine. I cannot <laughs> stress this more than anything. You're going to think, this is a little odd. Water. If you have to, get a little pretty cup. 
with your little initial. Mine's for the H for Hernandez with a little bow on it. Um, yeah, I have water. If you don't like water, ooh, that's just, I'm sorry. If you don't like water, get something that you can put in it that is good, you know, um, not high calorie. Um, see what the ingredients are in it. And um, let me change this battery. In the right, in the right position. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to change out the battery. Um, it's like, why does she have a bow on her cup? This is a cup that I got from um, Marshalls, and um, I got it really, really inexpensive, and it had a sticker on it. And when I was trying to take it off, I used goo off on it, and it ruined the purple part of it and so I didn't want to get rid of the cup because the cup is still in very very good, good condition so what I did was um, I had made it really pretty now and I put a little bow on it and it is a Kate Spade cup I was horrified when I ruined the purple part of it um, yeah so I now use a little white bow on that in honor of um, Kate Spade and I have my water in it um, I thought it just made a little more spicier kind of situation. But what I was trying to say was um, get something that you can add into your water, lemon, lime. Um, you could add um, uh, a, 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 like a, um, a crystal light situation to flavor it up. But water has helped me tremendously through the weight loss, through the skin, through the hair, through the fatty liver, I mean, Water cleanses the body, the mind, the spirit. Believe me, it is so healthy for you. I know I miss, not as much. I used to really miss my soda. But honestly, I don't crave my soda like I used to. I'm okay not having a soda. I think the only time I really want a soda if I'm watching a movie and I want some popcorn. That's the only time, like you're at the theater situation. But um, I don't miss that soda anymore. Um, or hot chicken wings. <laughs> That's when I miss my soda. So, yeah. Yeah. Water. It's number nine. Number nine. So, number ten. What can make you feel and look better? This is the top one. This is... I've done so much research. I have done so much looking online. I have done some reading and some books. That's why this video is a little late from what I posted on social media. And do you want up here, baby girl? Come here. Number 10. It's a th three letter word. I think some of you have heard the three letter word. It is a very, very important word. Do you want to come up? Do you know what the three letter word is? Come here, come here. Um, it's you. You believing in yourself. You liking yourself. You loving yourself. That is one thing that I've noticed looking through all the different photos and this just recently in social media, they had how you look 10 years ago compared to you are today and the difference, how your, your, how your body has changed. And I can, oh, come here. I could tell a huge difference when I went back and I grabbed a photo from, um, when I grabbed a photo from 2011, 2010, 2012, I think it's 2012, and the sadness in my eyes, the weight I had on me, um, the wrinkles, um, my hair, um, just just the soul looking into my eyes, seeing the soul, is so much different than it is today. And believe me, it's not easy. It's taken time to like me, to be happy with me. I've had to do a lot of um, soul searching within myself. I cannot rely on anyone to make me feel good. 
honestly, the only opinion that counts is mine. I don't color my hair because I've always I've always loved when my mother aged and she had this white gray st um, mark stripe in her hair. And I always said, you know, whenever I go gray, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna color. But there's times where a few years back, you know, I have to color that gray because I want to look young. And Being depressed is another one. You can tell, I could tell in that photo where I was severely depressed. I was going through internal health, going through a divorce, going through an attack, going through, it was just a vicious time in my life. Healing time takes time. It's not gonna happen overnight. Me feeling confident within myself has not happened overnight. So I'm asking you, 2019, write down goals, but be careful. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't say, I'm going to do this and this and this and this this week. Whoa. Don't lose weight. Don't, don't take one step at a time. It's so much easier to pick one rock, one thing at a time. Because when you're taking that one thing, you still need to fill that cup. You still need to say, okay, I'm still a good person. I'm going to reach this goal. Then add two. I'm still doing good. You can do this, Jay. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. With Ray being deployed, and we have about 60 more days until he returns. In the beginning, I was really, really excited for the fact that I had this time to get to know me. And I think God knew that it was time for me to heal. It was my time to heal within myself, to able to love the man who he is today. But the most important, before I can really love him, I had to fall in love with myself. That's not something vain. That's not something selfish. That's not something that, oh, no. My creator has given me a life. And taking these 10 things is going to make me feel younger and is going to make me look younger. I just have to do it for me. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Your journey has just begun. And I would love you to join me on this journey in 2019. I just made a thin cheese pizza with broccoli and mushrooms and Roma tomatoes and jalapenos. I think I already said that, I don't know. But it was good. Low fat cheese. It was really good. Three meals, I'm gonna have three meals out of that. But the thing is, is that you know there are rooms in your home or your apartment or your space that you have that you feel a safe place that you go to where you're able to be who you are as an individual, who you are, who Jay is. I can go into that room and I can be that individual. And I can remember when Ray was here, it's like I had to put a mask up to fake how happy I was. And so I had to run to a room or to that safe place and saying, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And then these days, I have been blessed to be given the time to get to know myself. And I want you to take this time for you to get to know yourself. I want you to fill your cup. 
because if you don't fill this cup, these wrinkles that I call my character lines are going to get deeper. These gray hairs and this hair is going to get finer and brittle. If you don't wear sunscreen, if you don't drink moderation, you're going to be getting diabetes, you're going to have a bad liver, and you're going to die young. God wants you to live a life. He's brought you to this world to make a difference. And I know you are. So let's do it together. Let's be young in our soul, in our body, in our mind, and pay it forward. It wouldn't be a good video if Ava wasn't snoring. <laughs> so, yeah, those are my secrets. This is, there's no Botox here. There's no special cream that you have to go buy. There's no um, skin cleansing, meaning the, the breaking down of the layers that I've had over the years, taking it off. There's none of that. There's none. What it is, is going to be making sure what you are taking, putting inside your body, medication, talk to your doctor. From there, it's going to be making sure you take care of your skin. I'm being sincere. I'm being sincere. Number three, eat healthy. My goodness, eat healthy. I know it's not as much fun as eating fatty foods and eating junk food. I understand that. But if you want to feel young and look young, eat healthy. Come here. From there, Oh, also, if you can, cut back on the smoking a little bit. It's tough, believe me. I know, I've been there, I understand, believe me, I know. Next one, weight loss. Carrying extra weight on you weighs you down. It makes you look older. Don't get me wrong. Oh my goodness, that sounds so bad. There are some beautiful women and men who are big. Oh God, this is going. To, this is going so wrong. When I mean by weight loss, and I want to make sure I'm making this clear because I don't want someone to think they have to be skinny. That's not what I'm getting at. And that is the point that I want to make sure is that my doctor said to me, no, you're not going to bring yourself to 140 because that's not healthy for you. I want you to bring yourself to a healthy state. If you're healthy at a certain weight with the height that you're at, amen. I That's great. That is... That is good. So do not get me wrong about that. Please, I hope you hear what I'm saying to you. Exercise. Find something that you enjoy, what you will challenge you in a healthy way where you don't become resentful or angry that you can't do anymore. Find something that you can replace that drive that you enjoy. Okay. Declutter. Minimize and donate. Declutter what you have, minimize what you don't need, organize it, and donate it to a family or to a shelter, to a, a, like a batter shelter or to a, um, a cause situation. Pay it forward. There are, ton, there are millions of men and women and children who need that you don't want. Learn something new. Photography is my passion and I am just beginning and I love it. I love it. It is my storytelling. It is my way to escape. It is my true passion that I'm able to capture something that is going to be there for a lifetime. I love it. Face your fears. Face your fears. It makes you stronger. If they say no, then you have the answer. I understand about anxiety. 
believe me. Baby steps. Cut toxic people out. Oh my goodness sakes. It's been the most healthy decision I have made. It's the most difficult decision I've ever made. And it's the most humbling experience. Water. Drink your water. Drink your water. Believe me. It's the best thing you can do for your body. And number 10, you. It starts with you. I can't do it. My husband cannot do it for me. And my children can't do it for me. And my grandson cannot do it for me. I have to do it for them. I have to do it for me. I have to make sure that I'm healthy in my mind, in my heart, and in my body. Because I want to have a challenge with my grandson and, and have a trivia challenge about Star Wars. I want to put something together with him. I want to go out and play ball with him or her. So I love you guys. So welcome to my world. This is how I'm staying young. This is how I'm looking young. It's because of what I'm doing. These are my keys. So I love you. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please leave a comment. Um, share it. It might, if you feel it might help some, someone might need to hear, share it. Um, subscribe. Um, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you didn't like it, thumbs down, be honest. It's reality, it's life. We gotta grow, we gotta learn from each other. I am not perfect, believe me. I am learning every single day. And most of all, and lastly, I cannot stress this. Be good to yourself. Be good to others, for we do not know what part of the journey they are on. I love you, and we'll see you next time.